Hello and welcome. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, West Concord Pharmacy, and Keys Drug and Newton. I would like to welcome everyone back to our show, A Healthier You. Our goal is to discuss current health topics and to provide information that will guide you to a healthier lifestyle. Today, we will be discussing some of the important services that the town of Acton provides for its residents, including community health and services for the elderly. To cover these topics, we have two guests today, Heather York, a registered nurse and administrator of Acting Nixon Service, and Sharon Mercurio, director of the Acting Council on Aging. Thank you both for being here today. I appreciate taking the time to share the services that you guys provide for our residents in the town of Acton. Um, Heather, I'll start with you. Sure. Welcome. Um, you. Tell us a little about yourself and how you ended up in Acton. Sure. So I'm Heather York. I'm a registered nurse. Um, I started in Acton in 2004 as a staff nurse working in the community, okay. doing home health, um, doing some overlap of public health in the community also. Uh, worked my way up to um, administrator uh, back in 2010. Awesome. Thank you. And Sharon, yourself? Um, I've been the Council on Aging Director in Acton for almost eight years wow. um, okay. and came from the town of Pepper where I had been doing the same position. So. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for both for being here. Um, Heather, I'll start with you. Um, your organization is called Acting Nursing Service, but it's yes. really a community public health agency. Um, can you please outline the various services that your agency provides, whether for elderly or otherwise? Sure. Um, so we are um, part of the town of Acton, obviously. We're a town department. Okay. Uh, there's two pieces to our department. Uh, one is the public health for the town. Uh, we do a lot of the vaccines, childhood vaccinations, flu clinics. Um, we do blood pressure, podiatry clinics within our office at um, the new location at 30 Sudbury Road. Uh, the other part of our agency is a, a Medicare certified home health agency. Okay. Uh, so we go into people's, ho people's homes after uh, a surgical procedure, a recent illness, a change in status, um, an injury, anything um, that is a referral from either a hospital or a rehab, a nursing home, or even a doctor's office. Okay, and how do you get the word out? How do people know about your agency? Sure, so we have um, a advisory committee, the Acton Nursing Service Advisory Committee, okay. who has been helping us promote the agency a little bit more in the last few years, awesome. making it more visible in the community. Uh, we do some outreach um, within the Council on Aging. Um, we work on some sponsorship programs that we do um, for the seniors. Um, we have clinics within the building, we have clinics in the community, so a little bit uh, here and there. Uh, we do some mailings for getting our, our uh, names out there. Awesome. Yeah. So you service both the young and the and the Correct, and the yeah. Elderly. Anyone over 18. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Sure. And, and Sharon, you know, you're, you're the director of the Council on Aging in Acton. Um, can you please summarize the programs and services you provide for the residents of the town of Acton? Sure. We're also a town department. Um, Council on Aging, we consider uh, a senior, anybody 60 and older, which seems younger each day, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, so we provide inf information referrals, um, not only to seniors, but maybe people that are concerned about a senior or family member. We help support the caregivers. Um, some of the services we provide at the senior center are um, recreational, so we do a lot of exercise and art classes, lifelong learning, bridge, mahjong, that type of thing. Awesome. But then we also have a, a large social service component as well. So if people are struggling financially or um, need some assistance, maybe they have a new diagnosis, we, we try to work with them to find um, the right services for them. Mm -hmm. So, you, and as you guys both mentioned, you guys are both in the same building. Yes, the department correct. Both, uh, yeah. Again, uh, town of Acton departments, and you guys are in the beautiful new building. Mm -hmm. um, I hope if somebody hasn't visited yet to go visit there. It's amazing. Um, how do you guys collaborate? 
I mean, you guys are, I know they're not far from each other. Yeah. <laughs> Within the building. We do, yeah. It's been a lot easier, I think, being in the same building. It's easy to walk down the hall and have a conversation about a senior that either one of us has interacted with, um, whether it's, um, you know, us as a certified agency, someone mm -hmm. at home who's homebound and um, has given permission for us to reach out to the, um, outreach coordinator Beverly Hutchings um, or Sharon herself for some um, additional services or you know as Sharon said heating assistance things like that uh, I think that has really been helpful for mm -hmm. us to be together um, okay. it really has opened up um, a, more pathways um, between us but also with seniors yeah. definitely yeah yeah. I know um, before we started filming, we were talking about the, the increase of foot traffic just yeah. because the seniors are, are at the same facility where nursing is now. So um, if the seniors have a concern or mm -hmm. we've had some that aren't feeling well during the day and we'll stop in and, and ask questions. Um, we also yeah. do some programs together. Nursing has sponsored some programs for us. Um, awesome. Maybe you can t say sure, a little bit sure. about that. Sure, sure. So um, since we moved into the building, we've done, um, a we're actually having a blood drive. I'll put my little plug in for our <laughs> sure. Red Cross blood drive. Yeah. Please uh, do. <laughs> May 16th, 2 to 7. This is the second one we've done at the yeah. um, facility. First one was very, very positive. We had about 48 donations, which wow. was great. Yeah. Um, it really, you know, is just a great thing to do. It's a, it's a great thing to, in the community to give blood. So that's one of them. Yeah. Um, we sponsored um, a registered dietitian coming over to talk to seniors about um, cooking on a budget because a lot of seniors are on a budget, having a limited income. Um, she also did one for um, cooking for one which there are a lot of folks that do have just themselves and it's a little more challenging when you're cooking for one when you've had a family and you know downsizing um, we are working on another series um, on bone health eating for bone health Excellent. Um, and then starting this month uh, for the next three months in conjunction with um, Kathy Fochman from the recreation department um, she's a regist uh, she's a certified horticultural therapist okay. so we're doing a senior garden therapy program okay. Um, in conjunction with the COA so we're sponsoring that just to bring that piece in okay. um, the therapy aspect and well-being of of planting you know whether it's starting from seedlings or having a garden that you're growing you know for a culinary reason or just for your enjoyment and have you done that before this is the first time this is the first time awesome. we're doing it with Kathy yeah awesome. we're excited about it I think it'll be a good um, a good program yes. you know there's a lot of pieces and it's it's Kathy works with a lot of different demographics on that she's worked with children she's worked with disabled um, people in the community um, and then the senior population so I think it'll be a really nice program to bring in. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you for sharing that with our yeah. audience. And another way we can collaborate is we have a, a monthly elder at risk mm -hmm. meeting um, okay. that I started when I came on board and it's once a month and we kind of gather around the table um, nursing the veteran service officer, mm -hmm. Minuteman Senior Services, the Housing Authority. We have cooperative elder services from Concord that comes out. Um, police and fire and, yeah. and you know we really work together to try to find out who needs our help in the community and and again not to duplicate efforts but to to support each other in that um, that's so awesome. that's been a great yeah. great um, program mm. yeah. I know some of our customers have utilized both of your services in there incredibly um, appreciative of what you guys are providing so thank you so much thank now you Heather thank you mentioned you. health home health services mm -hmm. um, I know that's a very competitive uh, environment these days. Can you just describe how you guys differ or what you offer as, a, as sure. an agency to help uh, a senior or a person with disability stay in their own home um, rather than go to a nursing home, for example? Sure, sure. So yes, competitive you know, place to be. Um, as a Medicare certified agency. Um, we are um, very supported by the residents of Acton, uh, which is wonderful. Yep. We see a lot of the same folks in the community, family members, neighbors, you know, word of mouth is, is very big for us. Um, so as a Medicare certified agency, like I said, we get referrals and we work under doctor's orders. Okay. Um, you asked about the disabled or um, those at risk for you know, not being able to stay home alone. Um, those are things that we assess when we go out as a home health agency. Okay. Um, there's an assessment usually by a nurse 
almost always by a therapist, going out, assessing the home, seeing what kind of, um, any kind of equipment or ad adaptation to the house that needs to be done. Um, also, any kind of referrals to outside entities, whether it be, as an example, um, a wound clinic, um, adjunct care, which we find is a lot of the um, way people can stay in their home, private care, coming out, you know, doing homemaking, personal care. As a certified agency, we have to follow the Medicare guidelines so that there has to be a skill to be within the home okay. um, for a certain amount of time. And when there isn't a skill, we like to make sure that there's that backup so that when we're transitioning out, if there's additional need, we can help them find, you know, whether it's um, people coming into their own home, whether it's going to, Sharon had mentioned, Cooperative Elder Services, which is an adult uh, day health, mm -hmm. you know, looking at those pieces and seeing what do, what do these folks need to su successfully and safely stay in their home and age in place. Um, and that, you know, we do a lot of referrals to different agencies once we're backing out. We don't ever like to leave anyone with nothing. Okay. Um, you know, so whatever they qualify for, whatever they can, you know, afford, if they have um, adjunct um, insurance that may cover some of these costs, because it can be costly. Of course. But it is definitely cheaper than going into a long-term care facility, which can be much more costly. And also staying at home independent is a big, exactly. some, some big factor for a lot of right, people that right. stay at home. A lot of Acton residents have yeah. lived in the community for 40, 50, 60, 70 years, right. and that's their home, and mm -hmm. they want to stay in place, and, and that's understandable. There's always that safety question, are they safe to be Correct. there? But if you can bring in that adjunct care, y you really can be. No, I know your agency also provides therapy therapy services. Correct. Can you elaborate? I mean, I know you've hit on a couple of them. Can sure. you just elaborate on that for our audience? Sure. So we have um, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and speech therapists that go into the home okay. in conjunction with um, or on their own with a nurse, um, usually after, like I had said before, an injury, an illness, a surgical procedure, um, to get people back to their baseline functionally. Um, and it can be, you know, as simple as a few weeks of physical therapy after a knee replacement, mm -hmm. or it can be something even longer, um, you know, let's say after a shoulder injury where PT, um, OT needs to both go out and work on different aspects because someone may have fallen okay. and the house may not be safe. So there's different pieces that we do. Are, the, are they under your, I mean, are those are individuals that are un, uh, employed by you or are they, uh, you know, so Outside our therapy, services. yeah, our therapy staff are actually actually contractual staff. Gotcha. So okay. they, but we have one, uh, two physical therapists, okay. one physical therapy assistant, uh, two occupational therapists, wow. and one so um, speech therapist that we work with. Um, so when someone comes home after a surgical procedure or an injury, the goal is to keep the staff consistent. So we try to keep one or two nurses in there at most. Okay. If they have a home health aid, which we also have home health aids for personal care, we try to keep the same home health aid in because that's very personal yep. for folks. And then also same with therapy. We like to keep the same therapist um, in with people. It gives them that um, constant continuity with the staff, not throwing a lot of different entities in there. That's awesome. And that's important. It is important. Consistency is important. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Sharon, you've been here for eight years now as a director <laughs> of COA. Um, I can't believe it, to be honest with you. That's awesome. That's incredible. <laughs> um, what, what faces, what challenges do our seniors face in the town of Acton? Mm. Um, have you seen, obviously you've probably seen population growth. How's the, what, what's the number of a senior population in acting compared to eight years ago, I and mean, maybe even further? Yes, we've um, we've increased dramatically, okay. so um, and continue to rise, which is really exciting. Um, Interesting. We uh, serve ev anyone from 60 older, and um, we're actually celebrating next Friday all the the 90 plus years uh, seniors uh, in in Acton. So there's over 150 of them at this time, which just is incredible. Yeah. Um, that. So we, we see a huge range of folks. And, you know, thinking about it, they've all experienced a major life change. So people in their 60s maybe just are retiring, and that sounds wonderful, but now all of a sudden you have all this free time, um, and you're missing those social connections. Um, 
Okay. So we, we see that and we, we provide support for that. Um, but again, through the ages, um, you know, maybe not being able to drive anymore. So that's another major change or losing a spouse or being a caregiver. So we see people that are facing these, these huge life changes and, and just try to support them where they are and what they need. Uh, yeah. Can you elaborate on how you support those sure. challenges, if you may? Sure. Um, you know, having somebody to listen to them, that's, okay. that's a big one. We do yeah. provide support groups. We have a widow and widower support group. We have um, different awesome. caregiver classes. Um, but really what happens is it just happens naturally. You know, people being in the space together, enjoying an activity together. We've seen just different friendships and r relationships develop. Um, and the support that they have for each other is incredible. Um, yeah. You know, they will notice among themselves, oh, so-and-so hasn't been here for a while, you know. So it prompts us to do a wellness check and, okay. um, or somebody's in the hospital and we find out about it through the seniors and, you know, they're sending cards and making those phone calls. So they support each other that way. Um, we have a lot of fitness and exercise classes, so I think that helps keep people healthy. Um, lifelong learning, we cannot get enough classes in. Sure. Um, we have different college professors that come in. That's really what this demographic really? enjoys. Okay. Um, and it's funny, the instructors always tell us that this is their favorite audience because they are challenged and they're intelligent and they come with their notebooks to take notes mm -hmm. and um, they really uh, appreciate that. Um, we have a gym now at our new facility because we have room for one that's free for Acton seniors. So they're able to come and work out and it's free of charge and um, things like that. We also offer meals every day, Monday through Friday. And you know, as Heather brought up, cooking yeah. for one sometimes or even two is, is a challenge. Um, so we have a lot of folks that just eat at the senior center. It's better, better than cooking or eating by yourself. Sure. Um, right. We have different town departments that cook for us. Nursing cooked last month and um, it, nice. it just it's yeah. a natural way to get people together and socialize. So. And mm -hmm. what time is lunch usually served? Noon. Noon. Lunch okay. is at noon. noon. Uh, awesome. <laughs> and then we also work closely with Minim in senior services. So yeah. we have one of their staff people um, located in our facility that um, operates Meals on Wheels, so the Meals on Wheels programs takes place at out of the Acton Senior Center. So, can you just take a couple of seconds to explain what that is for those that may not know sure, what that sure. service is, please? Um, so, if you have somebody at home or you are at home and you're having a hard time either getting out and cooking for yourself or um, you're not able to get out that easily. Um, they usually encourage people that are able to get out to come to the senior center for a meal. But if not, um, a volunteer will deliver a hot, nutritious meal to your door. Um, and it's kind of a twofold. So not only do you get milk, bread, uh, mm -hmm. an entree, and a dessert, but okay. it's also a face-to-face -face contact. So for family members that might be concerned about mom or dad, they're not eating well and I live so far away, how do I know they're okay? Mm -hmm. um, it's another set of eyes on that person every day, somebody kind of checking in with them as well as giving them a, a hot meal. Mm -hmm. um, and anybody interested in that can either call Beverly at the Senior Center okay. or call Minuteman directly So for that and it's, service. Is it every day, Monday, like Monday through Friday? Monday or through is it Friday. Weekends or? Yep, so it's Monday through Friday, but then uh, they also provide frozen meals for the weekend that can I just see. be popped in the microwave. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Incredible service. It is. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's um, really and I also understand that um, there's a free transportation service for Acton seniors to come to the COA? There is. Can there you explain is. that, please? Yes. So Acton is really kind of one of the front, front runners of regionalizing transportation. Um, Doug Halley worked really closely with Steve Ledoux in getting this up and running. And um, we have three different vans in town wow. that okay. operate. Um, some of the vans are for anybody, any age, 12 and up, or um, others are specifically for seniors, so um, they can call in, say that they need a ride to a doctor's appointment or to get their hair done or do food shopping or come to the senior center. And it's door-to-door -door -door service, so the van will pick them up at their home and drop them back off at home. Um, and it was just a, a wonderful, it's, it's a inexpensive anyway, it's a, a dollar per ride, but they threw in just um, free rides to the senior center. Yes, if somebody's in on a wheelchair, does yep. the van, I assume, assist those 
that on a wheelchair to get in the van and help them get into wherever they need to get. Into. Yep, so it's curb to curb service, so yeah. um, it does have a wheelchair lift and somebody that wow. can strap them in. Yep. Yeah, awesome. it's really great. Awesome, thank you. Sure. Um, obviously, on a, this is a, a show called The Healthier You, uh, we focus on improving overall wellness. Um, can each of you discuss some of the things your agencies do to encourage and promote uh, wellness, good health, maybe perhaps good mm -hmm. diet, eating? Sure. Um, if you guys could take a few sure. So, so part. on our end, um, like the programs that we talked I about, the cooking programs um, that we're joint um, sponsoring over at the Council on Aging, we do other things in the community as the public health um, nurse. Our public health nurse is Linda Cullen, okay. uh, who's been with us Incredible. for, yep. oh gosh, quite a few years, who yep. we just all love. Yep. Um, she goes out into the community and she does blood pressure clinics okay. um, at different locations. She goes to the senior housing in town. Um, she also does them within the building twice a month. We call it her wellness hour. It's actually two <laughs> hours. Um, but a lot of folks are very comfortable with her and comfortable with coming in, mm -hmm. having their blood pressure checked, you know, monitoring to make sure their medications are working, um, keeping track of that for their docs, but also asking other questions, um, whether it's nutrition or just overall wellness, um, things that they have going on, maybe a new health concern. Um, she's always great with chatting with folks and sort of, um, you know, working through what may be an issue and yeah. what they're always looking for suggestions, which is great. Um, she does a wellness discussion once a month um, in our office, okay. different topics, um, the new blood pressure guidelines. She's done bone health. Um, your care after a joint replacement. So different topics about, you know, staying healthy, exercising, nutrition, um, just different things that folks mm -hmm. in the community are interested in. Um, as I said, we do, we do the flu clinics every year. Yep. Um, so that's always a good turnout for all ages, just keeping wellness within the community. We also, as a public health department, do the disease surveillance for the Department of Public Health for the town of Acton. Okay. So any disease process you know, coming through, we'll get notified and Linda or one of our other nurses, myself included, um, will follow up with folks in the community. How are things going? You know, are you feeling better? What's the follow up? Uh, so there's different pieces that we do, uh, just in general overall wellness. And what disease states are we, I mean, if you could just give a couple of examples. So, um, Lyme disease can okay. be part of it. It's not on the radar of the state of Massachusetts anymore just because there's so much in Massachusetts Absolutely. that they've backed off a little. Um, but any kind of, you know, like a Giardia, yeah. um, any kind of communicable disease in the community. Um, there was some of the meningitis that um, had been going on at the colleges, at the high school level in town. Yeah. So, following up on those types of things. A flu, a flu epidemic. Exactly. As we had in February and March. Right, exactly. You know, any problems where someone had a big um, complication from a flu um, itself and it morphed into something much more than just the standard flu. Um, that's part of what we do. The other piece is um, wellness checks, as Sharon talked mm -hmm. about. Um, on the public health end, if there's folks in the community that there's a concern about, there's mm -hmm. a concern about their whether it's their health, their house, their functional, um, our public health nurses go out, assess, and, and do like a referral and make sure people are safe at home and go through the referral process of, you know, what the same thing as home health, but what do you need to make sure that you're safe? At home now, and I know you hit on this earlier. I just want to mm -hmm. make sure that you work, you work very closely with local physician groups. We do. I know. Yeah. You guys. I mean, I know just from our <laughs> right, from most, experience. From right, our and we, you know, we've worked with you also yep. um, with your Med on Time. Yep. That's been great for people in the community who mm -hmm. just need that extra piece of of monitoring. There's no family involved. Um, maybe they're at the point where there's a lot of new medications, yep. or um, just they're overwhelmed with the amount of medications. That piece is really helpful. Filling those bubble pack so on a daily basis they can do that awesome. um, you know so those pieces are really great and just the you know the doctor's offices in town we get calls you know from the social worker at Acton Medical as an example just can you check in on someone can you see how they're doing I'm gonna give you know we want to give you a referral see what th their needs are so yes that, that's a lot of services my dear friend <laughs> that's incredible Thank lots you of so hats much. absolutely <laughs> and how about you Sharon I mean I know you probably collaborate on the wellness aspect but yes. you mentioned mm -hmm. health classes and such but if you could just reiterate those that'll be awesome sure sure um, exercise is incredibly important to 
the, the demographics here. So we offer 15 different exercise classes a week, really different levels from chair exercises to aerobics that I don't think I could keep up with at this <laughs> point. <laughs> um, we do mindfulness, meditation, so um, the support groups, we have that aspect, but honestly just coming out and being with people, mm -hmm. we find that so therapeutic as well. Um, right. You know, we heard um, from more than one person who's recently lost a spouse that you know getting out and being with people has just made such a difference in their mm -hmm. life um, that they were really isolative and um, you know really bordering on depression um, feeling lonely um, so getting out and being with people being stimulated um, that's made the world a difference for them so that's incredible that way you guys move yeah. you know services to provide for our seniors or otherwise it's a uh, we in town of Acton is very lucky to have mm -hmm. such uh, involved groups in, in within the services within the town. Um, so you guys mentioned all these aspects, but I want my audience to know, how could they reach you? <laughs> we'll try to put it on the, at the end of the show so okay. they have the phone numbers and stuff, but sure. if you could share it. Oh, sure, sure. Awesome. So we are direct number to our office um, is 978-929-6650. Yep. We also have a website. Um, you can reach it two different ways through the town of Acton. Okay. Go to the Acton Nursing Services tab, or it's www.actonnursingservices.com. Okay. And Sharon, yourself? And we're, um, our phone number is 978 929 6652. Okay. Our website, again, like Heather's, can be reached through the town um, Acton website or actoncoa.com. Um, to put a plug in for our building. We're now located at 30 Sudbury Road Rear. Yep. Um, <laughs> and it's the human service facility. So not only uh, we in with nursing, uh, but the veteran service officers in with us, the community resource coordinator. We have transportation um, liaisons with the police department. Um, so we're all under one roof together. Um, so it was wonderful, we had a woman um, this winter that came in, had her fuel assistance done, stopped in, saw the veteran service officer while she was in the neighborhood, got her flu shot, and then took an exercise <laughs> class. So it's it's really All in one. wonderful. Yeah. Under one yeah. roof. And it's, if, yeah. if for our audience, if they haven't taken a you know a tour of your building, I encourage you to. It's, it's an incredible building. I mean, oh, absolutely. The town of Acton did a wonderful job with that building. So yeah. congratulations to yeah. both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, Thank you again for being here, Sharon and uh, Heather. I appreciate it for taking the time to speak with us about the array of services that uh, both of your departments provide. Um, and you, again, we'll have the phone numbers and, uh, and the information for your departments at the end of the show so people could reach you if they need you. Um, I'm Saad Dino, co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, West Concord Pharmacy, and Keys Drug and Newton. Thank you so much for joining us today. See you around town. Be well.